Okay, so a week before the new chapter drops of One Punch Man, well, I think it's like five days or something, something like that. And you guys know that once it's a week before a new chapter drops, we, you know, we make a prediction video. And I feel like, you know, right now in One Punch Man, it's not too difficult to predict what happens next because, you know, in the last few panels, we got a good idea of what could happen in the next chapter. And in my last prediction video, I actually wasn't completely right this time. So, you know, I thought Saitama and evil natural water would take place in the last chapter but we got a completely different chapter we got garo you know killing off platinum s we saw flashy flash being defeated by platinum s we saw all sorts of things in the last chapter and last chapter was definitely a good way to start off the year but i feel like you know we, we can get you know we can do even better than the last chapter and i hopefully think that the next chapter will be you know even better than the last but of course before we get into the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new because i post quite a lot of one punch man content and if you like one punch man then this channel is 110 percent for you so you know apart from that let's just get into the video because again this video i feel like is going to be pretty interesting now starting off with um, obviously what i'm pretty sure everyone is expecting in the next chapter and that is current garo versus sage centipede now i feel like this fight is gonna be pretty interesting and i feel like i mean someone tagged me on twitter and you know did, did a pretty good outline of what they think could happen so i feel like i might have to steal that from him but of course, I have more than one things that I feel like could happen with Sage Centipede and Garo. I'm just going to start off with, you know, the thing that I got, you know, the thing that I got tagged on in Twitter. Now, according to the guy on Twitter, this is off the top of my head, but I think he said something along the lines of like, he thinks Garo and Sage Centipede is going to be a pretty close fight and Garo is actually going to be eaten by Sage Centipede. And once Garo, you know, once Garo is inside of Sage Centipede, he's going to one shot Sage Centipede from the inside. And once he gets out of Sage Centipede, who is obviously dead at this point, he's going to, you know, come out with unrecognizable horns, meaning that this could be the final form of Garo, which would be pretty cool. And I feel like this fight, if anything, would, you know, it wouldn't last more than like one or two chapters. So we might be getting Awakened Garo very, very soon. We actually don't know. And now my theory is that Garo will just straight up beat Sage Centipede. It won't be a case of Garo being eaten or anything, but I feel like Garo will face Sage Centipede and Sage Centipede will push him to his very limit. And that's when we may see Awakened Garo. And I feel like once he gets into Awakened Garo, you know, once Sage Centipede has defeated him, Sage Centipede is obviously going to think Garo is down and out for the count. And once Garo stands back up into his Awakened form, we see him straight up just one shot Sage Centipede or you know completely destroy him or blow him out of the you know the universe if anything you know we could see like a crazy panel of just you know Garo sending sage centipede into space that would be very unexpected but it would be pretty cool at the same time now of course there's another i guess scenario that i think could happen i feel like Garo could straight up not really see you know sage centipede might not be Garo's awakening who knows i feel like sage centipede you know i don't think he he's most likely going to be Garo's like you know last obstacle until his awakened form but I feel like there is a slim possibility that this might not be you know where Garo goes to his fully awakened form I feel like there is a, a slim possibility that you know the you know the manga goes away from the webcomic strays away from what the webcomic did and instead you know Saitama awakens Garo now a lot of you guys might be thinking you know damn this is very out there and i don't even think this will happen this is just another scenario that i feel like you know could lead to a, you know garo's awakening so i feel like maybe saitama might push garo to his very limits during their you know their pre-final fights i feel like garo and saitama will have a pre-final fight so saitama which is one shot garo you know in his current form and saitama will turn away and think that's the end of the fight and then we see garo then stand up and then that's when he fully awakens into his final form and of course this will kind of interest Saitama because Saitama doesn't normally like you know no monster stands up after Saitama you know punches them so uh, well apart from Boris and maybe a few others that you know Saitama may not have put his all into his punch but in this situation we're assuming Saitama did kind of you know strike Garo with killing intent so the fact that he was able to stand up after 
I guess you could call Saitama's killing intent punch. Well, not necessarily a serious punch, but a punch of killing intent. That would obviously surprise Saitama. And of course, Gara will then, you know, turn into his awakened form. And we will then get the final fight, the climax of the arc. Awaken Garo versus Saitama. Now, I've kind of went over the three scenarios that I feel like could happen in terms of, you know, awakening Garo. So I feel like I kind of want to go like to the S-Class heroes and I just want to quickly go over like, you know, their situations, you could say. Now, Flashy Flash at this point, we know he's out for the count. You know, he's not even conscious at this point, I'm guessing. Maybe he is and maybe he's, you know, sees this fight with Saitama versus Garo. And he also is a spectator that ends up knowing Saitama's full power. Now, no, not his full power but you know more than what the flashy flash has seen him done till you know up until this point because we know that flashy flash has not seen saitama do the things that he's going to do in his fight against awakened garo so that would just you know even surprise flashy flash even more so of course i feel like a my mask even though he's not on the surface currently i feel like he should get to the surface soon and i feel like a my mask will also be a spectator that ends up knowing about saitama's full power and of course, I feel like we might see, you know, I'm pretty sure those are the only two that end up seeing Saitama's full power and Zombie Man, of course. So those three are going to be like the main three people that spectate over Saitama versus Awakened Garo. And I feel like we might get one more person just as like a manga exclusive thing. But who knows? That's a, at least those are the three that are pretty much confirmed from the webcomic to, you know, end up knowing about Saitama's secret power or knowing further about his secret power in the case of Flashy Flash. Now, I feel like after this, this is going to be like, this is not necessarily the prediction for the next chapter, but for the next couple of chapters. So I'm guessing in the next chapter specifically, we're going to see like Sage Centipede versus Garo just, you know, increase in intensity. I don't think the next chapter will be the end of that fight because Sage Centipede is a pretty, you know, he's, he's a pretty strong monster, I'm guessing, since he is God's disciple or his, you know, he's being sent here by God. So he should be a pretty powerful monster. So I'm assuming Sage Centipede is probably like a above dragon like 60 percent maybe 70 percent so he's kind of like a a mid to high above dragon this is just purely assumption this isn't by going off feats or anything this is just purely just my i guess my predictions on how i think you know sage centipede will scale in terms of strength so i feel like that's how strong sage centipede is going to be and of course in the next chapter i feel like we could also see saitama versus evil natural water now of course this is something that isn't going to even last one chapter because if you guys don't know in the webcomic saitama straight up one punches <laughs> evil natural water so that could be just used as maybe like one crazy double spread panel who knows but Apart from that, that's pretty much all I have for this prediction video, to be honest. Of course, this isn't like completely confirmed, but this is just a rough idea of how I think the next chapter or the next couple of chapters are going to play out after reading chapter 156. So apart from that, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And apart from that, I will see you in my next video. And you already know how the end of these videos go. If you have a friend that, you know, hasn't read One Punch Man and likes this kind of stuff, then, you know, I definitely suggest you, you know, get, ask them to read it because One Punch Man right now is insane.